Okay, so there's still some time left in the day, and this plant is just getting huge. So I've decided I'm going to forfeit on the russet potato and gold potato experiments. I'm just going to focus on this. So I'm going to do some digging and see what we find down there with regards to the gold potato and russet potato. Okay, so I think we have our answer. This uh, russet potato is just a stinking moldy mess. And that's probably one of the reasons there's so many fungus gnats. And likewise, um, actually I think this is the russet potato. What we just saw was the gold potato. This is just a stinking rotten mess. I think I should kind of remove some of this dirt near the rotten potato so it doesn't smell indoors all the time. Alright, so that was thoroughly disgusting and this thing is kind of tilting over. This thing is kind of tilting over because it doesn't have as much structural support. I think it has some roots. Just want to kind of shift this to the center of the pot. Okay, so this thing sort of has roots going all the way to the bottom of this very shallow six inches of soil. As long as I do this, you know, it'll be fine. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. You know, um, I managed to get this thing upright. If you look down there, and you can still see that shoot. I kind of messed around with the orientation of this plant, but it's basically towards the center now. Uh, some of the roots that were probably pointing down or at a 45 degree angle into the soil are now parallel, and that doesn't matter as long. You know, I feel that I ripped a minimum number of roots, so this should be fine. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put a lot more soil in there and bury a little bit of these stems. Um, I'm going to lift this structure much higher because it's going to lose balance. You know, it's actually better for potato production to keep burying the stem as the structure, the entire shoot system grows taller. And there are two shoot systems. You can see the little one over there and I didn't feel anything quite underneath but um, you know there's a lot of roots and they're entangled in soil so I don't want to you know uh, dust every single particle of dirt off just looking for shoots but you know the bottom of this sweet potato has not rotted which makes it remarkably different from what just happened to the russet potato and the gold potato okay so I'm running out of sunlight it's 7 p.m. here in California and basically I don't want this sweet potato to be banging on the other side of the pot however this shoot system is growing out of one of those ends so I wanted to have it in the middle you know pointing directly upwards but this is a compromise so they're both as central as they possibly can be
Okay, it's day 36 of this sweet potato germination experiment. So here's a shiny foliage on top. And it kind of dulls and, you know, curls on the edges as it matures. But there are still new leaves sprouting up everywhere. So there were rotting potatoes in this bowl. And that no doubt contributed to my huge fungus gnat problem. Um, I actually wasn't quite expecting that. You know, I thought the russet potato and the gold potato were going to germinate soon. So this is a very hardy plant and you know it had a bare minimum of roots which is kind of shocking because most of these plants you know house plants um, when you plant them they just have tons and tons of roots a very extensive root system. This on the other hand had just that tough intact tuber and it had some roots coming out from both ends so I think there's a plan to how these sweet potatoes develop. Basically, it'll send out this massive shoot system from one end. So based on my understanding and, you know, the physiology of what I just felt when I was doing the transplant, you know, there's one end of most tubers or fruits that kind of seems like the stem, you know. Uh, I forgot the exact botanical term for it. And there were some roots coming out of that end, but the, it was the other end that kind of had uh, the shoot system coming out of it and some roots as well. So the roots were very um, meager compared to what I was expecting. They did not at all, you know, uh, attempt to fill up the bowl. Um, the root mass compared to the shoot mass was just so minimal, I was shocked. I buried these stems with uh, quite a bit of dirt and this bottom leaf right here, the true leaf is completely buried to the hilt basically with uh, dirt and this provides more structural support I tried to get these uh, this shoe system and its stems pointing as upright as possible but you know nothing is a perfect line and basically um, it's supported very well now so I'm not worried about it falling over or anything so having said that there's a bunch of dirt and sand on these leaves um, you know, I'm going to try to spray everything off with a little bit of water again, and that runoff should basically drop off uh, along these stems and fall down due to surface tension and water the soil and get directly to the roots where it needs to be. Um, I'm sure there's a little bit of moisture deep down in there, but I kind of moved this entire plant up a little bit as well, and that way it'll get all the sunshine it needs. So. I felt that uh, just six inches of soil down there was a little bit too low. So this is all dry new soil and you know who knows what kind of bug eggs are in there. Um, I hope it's not just completely full of fungus gnats again. Um, although I would hope that the bag of soil just by sitting outside would have hatched most of them by now and they would have either moved on or died. So I'm gonna start cleaning these leaves and watering this plant by doing so. Okay, I think that's enough watering. You know, maybe I've watered uh, 100 mLs or even less than that. So it'll just trickle down there and get to the roots right where it's needed. And I also kind of sprayed behind there, you know, towards the other pole of the sweet potato. So basically it'll have enough water to get by um, and hopefully not too much so that it doesn't rot and there's still some water in the tray and I'm gonna fill that up again as well. 